Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is actually Tuesday and thought we would do a little bit of a vlog today. I'm not sure if it'll be like a full day in the life or what is all in tail, but I had big plans to vlog yesterday. It's kind of my routine. I vlog on Monday so you can watch it on Wednesdays, but we really didn't do too much yesterday. I was waiting for a special package and it did not get here literally until like 5 15 and so i was thinking it was going to get here at like 7 a.m so my video kind of revolved around that package so i'm like you know what we're just going to scrap today for a video and we're going to start up fresh on tuesday so too much information but if this video does go up just a little bit later than normal that is why it's because i'm recording the day before but anyways it's tuesday we've just been hanging out around the house got the kids dressed i watered all of my flowers super windy out we're actually in a wind advisory it's been really windy for a few days now it's awful it's awful like it's really hard to be outside and enjoy it like just playing and stuff but anyways i'm sure we will head out there because the wind does not stop the kids from wanting to be outside but i did get the package last night i actually am going to share that with you i think right now but it's the shelves to go above the couch in the living room I decided to hang them up last night as soon as they got here. I just really wanted to see how it was going to look because I have never seen anyone do this. So I just, like I said, I did not know if I was going to like them. I took a risk. So these shelves I actually ordered off of Kirkland's.com. They're only an online item. So you can't go into the store and see what they actually look like. So that also had me a little bit nervous about ordering them. Probably a little bit overpriced, but I have not seen anything like it. And I just thought they would be perfect for this wall. So this is all I plan to put on this wall. I'm not going to put anything over here or here. Like this is it. So I have the shelves. They're just on nails right now until I decide that I really like them. And that's going to be their final place but I will need to do like screws and all that but anyways yeah so this is what they look like of course I can I still need to add my decor but I thought we could maybe work on that a little bit today maybe during their nap time but yeah I love them so they are I don't know would you call these modern farmhouse I would say so but they the only kind of thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was they have like this little ridge in there so we'll have to keep that in mind when we're decorating, but I do really like them. It's just a matter of finding the right decor that fits on them without making it look, you know, too cluttered and all of that. I know the shelves aren't everybody's style. Like we all have different things that we like. I think it's going to be so fun to decorate them. I'm thinking like family pictures, books, uh, I don't know, little pops of greenery, probably not plants because we have that big tree over there and then I already have a wreath on the mirror, but just little pops of greenery perhaps, I don't know. But I think it'll be fun to switch it out seasonally as well, which you all know I love to do. And a little real life moment here. The Legos everywhere. We've been out here playing this morning, but as I've been sitting out here, you know, I just keep staring at these, thinking about ideas. And then I'm also thinking we need to get a table here like I wasn't quite sure at first, but now I feel like to balance out the love seat, it just it needs like a little slim table there. Something probably in the same color scheme, the darker wood with the, like the wrought iron look over there would be really nice. So yeah, I'm also looking into that. But anyways, more and more I do to this room, the more I enjoy it. Like I never used to love this room, but now it's becoming one of my favorite places to be. I've actually had a few comments lately asking about the basement. So yes, we have a basement. Yes, a lot of things go down there after I'm done using them up here. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge of like furniture and stuff down there right now. But that's still our plan is to get it all updated. Hopefully later this year. It really only needs new carpet and then for me to paint the trim. We'd love to get the ceilings done just like we did here, but that might be more of like a winter project type thing. So I kind of wish we could do the ceilings first, but you know, kind of just can't do it all at one time. We like to pay cash when we do all these things. I feel, I so feel myself, I feel mine. I feel my sticker chart. You filled your sticker chart? Oh, let's yeah. go. Andrew, Andrew filled the sticker chart. All right, let's go too. check it out downstairs. No, I'm making my house. Are you? Yeah. Most of you have seen it down here already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
I have so much work to do. I just basically placed decor down here after I'm done using it upstairs. Uh, so my farmhouse sign right now is above that fireplace. But yeah, like I said, I need to paint all of the oak still. I'll probably paint the insert just like I did upstairs. Uh, this used to be up in our playroom or office, but we just set it right here for now. It's so heavy. And until we kind of figure out how we want to have everything, it's just kind of sitting there right now. But ultimately, I think it's going to go back in that corner where the blue table is. And I'd like to do like a game table right there. And then we'll do like a big TV, like a just a fun hangout space for our family and for friends. Yeah, so lots of work down here. The very first thing we need to do though is the carpet. I think the room will feel just completely different. This stuff has been down here for at least 20 years and it, it's just, it needs to go. So yeah, this is the basement. We have a guest room and my husband's like guitar playing area, golf memorabilia room back there. We have this whole big living space and then we also have a bathroom in there that also needs to be updated. Anyway, so that is a look in our basement. Lots of work that needs to be done, but it's totally usable as is for now. So it's more of just like a hangout space or a play space for the kids, I should say. An area where they could get wild, make messes, and then we just shut the door. We just shut the door. But I was telling my husband he really wanted a bigger TV out here, and I'm like, I just don't think it would work. I don't want the TV, and I don't think he does either, covering the windows. And so I think we've pretty much maxed out the size, can you see that, of TV that we have over there. So I'm like, that should be motivation. We'll get the big TV in the basement. So as soon as we get like it done, you get your big TV down there. So we'll see, I, there's no timeline on it. We're, I'm, at this point, I'm just sharing it with you and all of my ideas. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can even tell. I think I said this in my last vlog. But yeah, I think I saw on Facebook the highest wind gust we've gotten today so far in our wind advisory is 57 miles per hour. So yeah, it's like shaking my Suburban <laughs> right now. But we had lunch, we just dropped Macy off at gymnastics and now we're gonna head home. It's almost snap time, but kind of feel like this video is all over the place. But then again, you know, that's kind of what summer is all about. We're just all over the place. It is just after one o'clock and the boys are officially down for their nap. You can see I'm missing a frame on my mantle. That is because I've been trying things over here. I actually really like these wooden frames. I feel like they have just like enough character and then I've just been playing around with stuff. But I think what I'm going to do, and I kind of had this idea yesterday when I hung them up, but I was like, well, let me see if I decorate them first. I think I need to stain them. I think I need to stain the wood pieces to be a similar color because it's kind of, it kind of clashes a little bit. Like sometimes you could mix woods together and it looks pretty, but I feel like I have too many different colors going on here. So to tie it all together, I think what I'm going to do while they sleep is actually take all of the wood pieces off, which is really easy. They just kind of scoot off and then gel stain them. It's a pretty quick process. It shouldn't take me very long to do, and then we can hang them up. But I think that wood tone is just throwing me off right now, and I've just been playing with stuff, so disregard that. I just wanted to see, well, what does it look like if there's a plant, or what does it look like if I have two frames on here type of thing. So I think the very first thing before I can actually get the full effect of decorating them, though, I just need to stain them the right color. And you can see I left the tags on too. I'm so embarrassed I should have taken those off, but I just wanna make sure I liked them. And I, I do, they're growing on me. Every time I walk in here, my eye goes 
right over there as I kind of brainstorm what I want to put in there. But anyways, I'm going to take these off, stain them really quick so they can dry. Can you hear that wind? It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, but this is like pretty raw wood, so I think it'll stain just fine. My gel stain was dried out, so I'm actually going a different direction and just using some stain that I had on hand, so I hope it'll work. We'll try that color, if not, you can always go darker. Hmm. Best way to do this, maybe this way. I'm using a paper towel so it's not as dark and you can still kind of see that wood grain a little bit more. It's making things a little bit messier. My hands are gonna be stained. <laughs> I don't have any gloves though, so. Yeah, you know, it is what it is, but I think this is going to match really well. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm out in a sweatshirt. I finally took the sweatshirt off, but I was staining 90 degree weather, 50 mile an hour winds. Granted, I was in the garage, so I was I mean, pretty protected, but it was so really hot in there. Wearing my sweatshirt and slippers. It's like I'm roasting. What am I thinking? But the stain looks really good. I'm just letting it dry. It says it dries in one hour, which I believe it. And then I'm going to go back out and do just a top coat really quick. And then I'll probably, I haven't decided, I should probably let it dry overnight before I, because it does touch the wall and I don't want it to like get stained on the wall or anything. So we'll probably have to let it dry overnight, but I'll at least show it to you in today's video. just clean my sink with this barkeeper's friend the just the regular powder cleanser mainly because from what I had read it helps take out like some scratches out of your sink and just really polishes it up well I don't know I think it honestly looks no different I mean obviously it's a little bit cleaner but yeah I still see all of the scratches I don't know if I did something wrong or what but I just kind of scrubbed with the grain of the stainless steel and it pretty much looks about the same so i don't know let me know if you've ever tried this or if you like this cleaner what do you, you all use it for one and two have you ever used it to take scratches out of your sink i had to laugh because i just literally pulled up kristen casper's video when i was watching it while i was painting and she's like let me tell you about a cleaner i just use it on my sink Barkeeper's friend. What are the odds you guys? What are the odds? I have no idea, but I thought that was really funny I'm pretty sure I just heard Ethan get out of his bed. Their room is basically right above the kitchen So I always hear like a boom <laughs> When he like gets out of bed and then you hear a boom 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 all the way to the door like he just runs But I got so the shelves are basically done. They're just dry now. I put polycrylic on the top I'll show you the two products that I used in case you are looking to do something similar, not necessarily to those shelves, but to any piece of wood. But I think the color is going to look a lot better. It is darker, but I think it'll match just the whole vibe we're going for out there. So anyways, got that all done. I got my sink clean. I have a, like one load of laundry that I need to fold, so I'll probably work on that. And then I have no idea what we're going to do this afternoon. It's, I don't want to go outside. Do you ever have those days where it's like, let's just, let's just stay inside guys. We'll find stuff to do. I don't know, but anyways, oh, for dinner, my husband is actually making dinner tonight too, so I can't even like get a head start on that. Well, I probably could, but he's going to be smoky and like a whole chicken. He asked if I would prep it for him and like get it all ready since he gets home, you know, a little after five. I'm like, do I have to, you know, stick my hand in the that area? He's like, yeah, I'm like, mm, I, I think I'll save that for you. Mm, orange. Out of orange. I have red. Oh, nope, I have one more orange. 
you're in luck. Okay, you got one of these two? Not red? I have a red. I have this. Can we? I mean, I Here you go. Here's what I ended up using. This is the Verathane Premium Fast Dry Wood Stain in True Brown. I have plenty left, like this is like a teeny tiny can, but I had this on hand from when we did our barn door pantry. I wasn't sure what color we were going to do, and I was sampling different ones, and we didn't end up using that one, so that was perfect. And then I just sealed the shelves with this Minwax Polycrylic in the clear matte. Oh my gosh, is it gonna focus? There we go. I use this for a lot of projects but they are dry and so I did hang them up just because you know I have no patience but I put some of those furniture pads on the back of each wood piece so that way it wasn't like hitting the wall so just to protect the wall and so yeah I put them all on there so I can show you what they look like now still playing with the decor so disregard that but it looks like almost like a perfect match to my tables out here so I'm glad I did it I just have to get used to it because they're darker now but they look a lot better with the decor that I have on here like it's not like such like a huge contrast anymore so I actually really like this I'll probably end up leaving these two things on the shelf and now I just need to figure out the rest of them but I just I don't know if I have what I need, I don't know. I went on to the Magnolia website to see if I could get one more frame in this side. And of course, they're out of stock right now, so I need to just keep an eye on that. And when they do come in stock, I will most definitely get another one of those to put on that side. And I was going to get another one of these little vases, which is from the Hearth and Hand line at Target, and of course, sold out as well, so. Yeah, I'm kind of out of luck if I want to do like the same thing on this side and use these pieces, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. I just put the chicken on the smoker. I could just could not record it, you guys. I just do not like handling raw chicken. It is so gross. But anyways, it's on the smoker at 375 for about an hour and a half, I believe. And we just basically rubbed a little bit of olive oil on top and then paired it with this Traeger chicken rub. He has a little collection going of all these Traeger rubs. He's even getting a couple of them for Father's Day that he doesn't have, but you'll see more about, I guess, spices and all that in Friday's video, which was the one I've been talking about that's been pre-recorded. I've had it ready now for a couple of weeks and it's finally going live on Friday. Can you hear the children in the basement? The summer, sounds of summer. Let's see that chicken. There we go. What do you think? Does it look okay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> smells good. It's juicy. Oh gosh. We're eating later. I had to feed the kids because it took a little longer than usual. I was supposed to preheat the grill earlier than I did, so. My bad, but we're gonna eat here soon. I'm making some of these potatoes to go with it these are really good all right my friends i'm going to wrap up today's video we just put the kids to bed i clearly <laughs> washed off my makeup and put my jammies on i just look forward to cuddling up on the couch when it is like just so peaceful in here in my robe got my big blanket and my pillows and we're good to go but my shelves i added a couple more things i think i'm gonna wait and share probably in next week's video of some sort I'm not quite sure but there's definitely more work to be done I'm just kind of taking my time trying to figure out what to put on the shelves up here so you know in progress isn't it always though seriously but I'm going to catch up on more criminal minds I think I'm on season nine and I feel like there's like 12 or maybe even more seasons than that but I'm obsessed my husband doesn't get it it's, it's I mean the stories are kind of crazy sometimes, but anyways, I enjoy it. So that is what I'm going to do, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. 
and I will see you in my next video on Friday. Bye guys.